Happy Feast of the Epiphany. Growing up, this was a very special day in Spain. Do you know why? Because the three Magi, which we have here today, didn't just bring gifts to Jesus. After writing letters to them, they brought presents to all the children in the country, including me, and we were so excited. Yesterday afternoon, they would arrive in every town and city in a parade, riding their camels with their entourage, and we would go out there to welcome them, to cheer them. Now I hear that in a city yesterday they arrived on a helicopter. I think that this is a bit of a stretch. Imagine that Jesus were to be able to write a letter to you today asking a gift from you. What do you think he would be asking for? Would you give him the newest iPhone or an, an Amazon gift card or a ticket to the Super Bowl? He can have that anytime. He's God. He will ask of you, he would ask of you something that only you and I can give. And that is a pure heart. Look at how God endowed his mother, Mary, in preparation to become the mother of Jesus, the mother of God. He endowed her with a pure heart. She was born without original sin. She is the Immaculate Conception. So this is why the greatest gift we can give this year to Jesus is a resolution to reject sin, to avoid any occasion of serious sin if that were to present itself, to reject any sin. And this is why I suggest to you when we go at the end of the day to make an act of contrition and to tell Jesus, I want to love you with all my heart and to ask him for forgiveness and to go to confession frequently this year. This is what Joseph did when he arrived in the stable. I can picture him cleaning up the mess from the animals. Let's become a Magi today, you and I, and give Jesus the best gift of our lives. May God bless you. May God bless America.